All right, Mike the Fixer here. We're with uh, Terry Jetta 4187632. We're going to uh, do a oil cooler, I think, on this thing. He's got coolant leaking into his uh, oil, which might be the problem. Well, it's a lot cheaper than a head gasket. All right, we're back. Skipped a lot of steps here, guys. Did the uh, If you're going to do your oil cooler, which is this silver device here, and your oil adapter, uh, just take the intake off. That's the easiest way to do this. Uh, and what we found, this is a 2010 Jetta, 2.5 liter. And there wasn't a good video on this. I wanted to make a good one, but it didn't happen. So it's not my job. It's my good friend here. We're helping him. But he's getting coolant into his oil. And so we were uh, going for the uh, actual cooler, the gasket uh, leak here. But it looks like he has an external leak here too on the actual uh, oil too and I'm saying that's cool because it's white and crusty coolant gets white and crusty like that so he may have an internal and external leak these do crack and so we're gonna order a new one of those and uh, go from there aight a space and people were taking the whole front end of the car off they were just bleeding off Freon. Because this is covered too. In the atmosphere, so. yeah. The only special tool we needed, I have a quarter inch long extension, a quarter inch socket, and everyone has these Allen bits laying around. Every time you go to the tool store, you get these bits. That fits right into a quarter inch socket. So that's all you needed to get through the intake. There's those two holes. You'll see earlier, you'll see it in my video. That's what you needed this for, to get to these, this hole and that hole. But it's not a special tool, it's, it took me a half a second to figure out. I have this shit laying around. So, Beats taking the whole friend off, draining Freon into the atmosphere. I'm like an idiot. Not mentioning any YouTube guys who did that. They were wicked smart though. <laughs> hey, those are my people, I can make fun of them. So here's one of the failures of our oil cooler on the Volkswagen. Um, what happens is, not on ours, but these crack in between here. Ours uh, definitely, um, let's see, the coolant was leaking on the other side. This, so this is the oil adapter side, uh, the cooler side. So this um, possibly, we're hoping our it looks like it's very, very flat here. Our coolant and oil package, uh, passages were jumping there. We definitely had an external leak on this side where the white crusty was. And this gasket, put it somewhere where it'll sit. We can, and I'll show you. Yeah, this is where it was leaking externally. And it looks like a freaking a mouse chewed it, but obviously a mouse can't chew it because. It's all jagged. Very strange. So that was where our external coolant leak was. And, and hopefully, yeah, and again, it was jumping between oil and coolant. I believe that's coolant, that's the oil passage. Or, you know, one of these others. And also they can crack. Oh, they say they crack. I wonder if it's some people prying on it. Because <laughs> there is a hidden bolt getting this apart. There's four bolts. For the actual unit, let's see. I think we've mounted up like this. Yeah, there's your shot. So you got one up top, one there. The one in there is what was one that was hidden. See, it's way down in this cavity. And then this fourth one, and then the fifth one is way down here by the oil cooler. Make a sense? But yeah, this was easier. I'll show you again. Come out the top. Why it was so easy. There's a head gasket leak. You probably just saw that drip. Not there. And she's coming down overnight. It was all it's all water. So there she goes again. She's just dripping. <laughs> 